We have finally left Perth after spending two months there and made our way to Geraldton, where we almost adopted a third cat. Hey, Marty. He wants to, you want to take him? Yeah. Yeah? On our way to Geraldton, we stopped at King Neptune statue for some photos, visit the Pinnacle Desert. Big bad boy, we found the big four meter. This has to be four meters, right? And spent a night at a beautiful campsite. However, it was infested by bees. Oh my God. Stay with us as we spend the next three days driving 415 kilometers from Perth to Geraldton. We have just arrived to the Pinnacles Desert, which is pretty cool. It's all of these massive rock formations that uh, there's like hundreds of them. And Limestone they... pillars. Pillars. Rock. <laughs> same, same. Apparently some of them can get up over four meters long, which is huge. That's taller than our van. It's massive. Let's go check them out. <laughs> okay, let's go. So when we get to the Pinnacles, you have two options. You can just walk or you can do a four kilometer one way loop in your car and then you can park and go for walks and take pictures which is what we're doing but uh it's pretty it can be tight in some sections because we're kind of long you gotta be careful otherwise you're gonna take hit, out one of the pinnacles hit some pinnacles yeah this is not what you were expecting not at all i don't know what i was expecting to be honest like i had no expectations but not this anyway but we need to visit the gallery later to find out everything about yeah we don't have enough information about what's going on no. here. Big bad boy, we found the big four meter. This has to be four meters, right? I don't know, let's see. Let's <laughs> next one. Um, <laughs> that one's four meters. Look at that one next to the van. Ooh, how tall is the van? There's a four meter for sure. Where are you going? He's leaving right behind. Son of a b <laughs> They're funny. Sorry, sorry, that was just like fun and games. Para! Come on, get in, go for Gio! <laughs> Quick, get in, go to the door! He <laughs> Gio Very, very interesting. We went into the information center and apparently they have no idea. Well, they do. They have a couple of theories on how they were formed, but they're not 100% sure, which is kind of interesting and crazy at the same time. They still don't know why they have that shape. Yeah, which is crazy. And we're feeling a little bit peckish, so we've got a wrap with peanut butter. Super easy while we're driving to the campsite. I think we're going to go to a free camp just outside. How do you say that place? Corvents? Corvents. Corvents. It's on wiki camp, so we're going to go hang out there for the night. And then after tomorrow, we'll head north. We have just arrived at our free camp for today. The reviews were not that great, so we're a little bit, I don't know. We came in with low expectations, but it's actually a really good one. It said it was really dirty, not that great, but it's just a really nice bush camp with like four or five people already set up here. So this is going to be us for the night. There's no phone reception, so we're just going to relax, chill out, maybe edit some photos, have some dinner and go to bed early, I think. We left the free camp this morning, there was no internet reception and we need to upload a video for today because today is Sunday and we need to do some subtitles for it. For all of our Brazilian followers out there, we've got ya. So we've got <laughs> Portuguese subtitles. So we're gonna hang in Jurian Bay for a little bit, catch up on all that, upload the video, get it scheduled for today and then figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Probably explore this area, see what's, what's like here. Okay, so we just spent the last two hours working on this YouTube video that is going live on Sunday So please make sure you watch it. It's a lot of work <laughs> And the way that Wade and I kind of share the YouTube workload is that we film the videos together Obviously then Wade edits most of it. We have a look at it together Make sure do the last weeks and then I work on the English subtitles Portuguese subtitles thumbnail title description That's what I've been doing for the last two hours. So the videos then and skip so yeah, and now we got to go have a shower because we stink. It's been a few days We got to go to the dump station We got to get some water and we got to get some food for the next few days because we're going to be camping I think in some beachy type of areas, but first we need to clean up this mess First on the agenda quick shower freshen up it's pretty hot so a cold shower is gonna be pretty good I reckon we could actually have a shower in the van, but we're just feeling a little bit too lazy and there was a place to have a cold shower. So we're like, why not? Let's have a shower. It's not like the best looking shower, but it'll do the job. Nothing like a cold shower to wake you up in the morning. It's like having a big strong coffee. 
Get you going. Thoughts on the cold shower, Danny? How was your cold shower? <laughs> it uh, it wakes you up in the morning, huh? It was hard. Hard for you? It was hard at the beginning, and then it got better. Yeah. But it sucks that you have to press, keep pressing the the button for water. Yeah, you couldn't hold like it wouldn't stay on. You yeah. had to hold the button. That, that was annoying. That sucks. Yeah. Don't snow? Okay. <laughs> Help yourself. I'll get two chicken breasts then. Just two? Because um. One will go two. And they look pretty fat too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we just need two nights for the next because then we ain't yeah. What did you get? I couldn't resist. A gravy roll with um, roast pork. It's been forever. <laughs> May life do this. Yeah, this is the uh, top up. Because the only way we're going to get water from, so we're trying to top it up whenever we can just to make sure. And then. B. Stinks. This is just from yesterday. Yeah. Danny had one bite of the gravy roll. Look what happened. All over my top. Even Jon Snow is trying to help you clean it up. You got it, buddy. <laughs> no, he's rubbing. I can't chubby. It's been forever since I've had a roast pork gravy roll. And that's exactly the way that I remember it. It started to get really hot, so we stopped at Dynamite Bay for a swim. And now we can just find the drone. It's beautiful here. Yeah, so it? that shower we had this morning was like, we're like, oh, let's have a shower. Bit of a waste, but that's okay. <laughs> Get rid of that bit of a smell we got going on at the moment. And now you're just sticky with salty water. Yeah, but it was, we needed to swim. It got too hot. Yeah, got you. Came right on that. <laughs> it's hot, got you. You want to go for a swim? We just pulled off the main highway, heading into the camp for the night. And it's on a dirt road. We always say when it comes to a dirt road, at the end of it is always going to be a good campground. Yeah, I we think gotta... we had to pay at the start there. Oh, <laughs> hold on. We gotta go back. <laughs> Oops. I was talking to you guys. I should be paying attention. We were just reading the self-pay fee station, and apparently there's a guy that comes in later with an F-Post machine. So we might just wait for him so we have we don't use our cash. But if you do have cash, you can just take an envelope from there, put your money in, take a part of the envelope and put it in your dashboard. But we are gonna wait for the guy. I think so. I'm just gonna double check that it actually does come around. Yeah. Or we gotta pay, but let's see. What's up, buddy? Oh, someone is over the driving. We're almost there. Five minutes. So we made our way to the campsite for tonight and it's a beautiful place. The water is just there. We are parked here. Looks delicious and we are so happy. But I think we, we read that there was one problem with this place and maybe that's why we're the only ones here. <laughs> but the problem was the bees. But someone also left a review on wiki camps saying that, oh, just leave a bowl of water f far away from your van and they will all go in the water because they're just after water. So that's what we did and I'll show you the situation. So we started with this bowl, we put it here and there are a few bees in there already. But then the bees were still trying to get inside to get the cat's water. So we had to put the cat's water outside as well. And this is the cat's water right now. Oh my god. Okay, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Holy guacamole! I think we're gonna spend most of our time inside today. Yeah, it's a little bit disappointing, but. Are we staying here? Yeah. yeah. I think we put another bowl. They're thirsty, poor things. And poor things. It's hot. Because they're not aggressive. It's not like they're coming up no. to you trying to like bite you and stuff. Mm. I think we've made a mistake with the bees. We had the right idea with the whole water situation, which was good, great. They all, they all went to the water. We made a mistake and put the water a little bit too close to the van. And now there's so many bees, we can't move the water. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Here's one. Probably about 50 bees in that one. And here's the other one. We're trapped inside. Yep. This beautiful beach. Even the cats don't want to go outside. And we never pay for accommodation. Today's $20. Yeah. Maybe they go away at a certain time. I was thinking that. Yeah. They go to bed. They go to bed. <laughs> Maybe we Google when do bees go to bed. You've just filled up another another container. Yeah, so we have four containers outside. Okay. One, two of them got really, really dry, the first two. Yeah, like this so one was bone dry. So we 
we, I filled that one back on back up. That one is almost dry, so Getting maybe we'll need to fill that up soon. Yeah. That one is new. There's a few bees going there now. And there's another one there, but the bird is enjoying, not the bees. Where's that one? Oh here. There's two birds in there. Two? Yeah. I oh, know there's only one. No one. Having a shower. Hey! Water is love! <laughs> Make some coffee and it's a bit chilly this morning it also looks like it looks like all of the bees are back they're looking for some more water we're just sitting here chilling enjoying the morning drinking our coffee figuring out what we want to do today because i have absolutely no idea we're tossing up with staying here for a little bit catching up on some work i have a blog post that i actually have two blog posts that are written that i need to get up onto the website so we might actually do that what do you got planned no idea <laughs> you got nothing no i have a list of a million things that we need to do so i think i vote for that that we stay here till like four o'clock yep because we paid twenty dollars for accommodation True. and we never pay for accommodation yep. so I think we make the most of it, get a bunch of work done and then go to Geraldton. In Geraldton we're going to get the car service because it's going to be the last kind of big town and a mechanic that we can find to do the van. Uh, and we just want to make sure that everything's running smooth and no issues before we start heading up. We want a clean run heading up the WA coast. And what did you tell me earlier that Geraldton was? Geraldton is the largest town between Perth and Darwin. That's insane. Show where Perth and Darwin is on the map. That's it. No, Geraldton's probably about here. All the way up, you've got about Exmouth, then you've got Broome, and then Darwin's all the way up here. That's crazy. So it was a good idea to get the car service before leaving Geraldton. So let's see what else we kind of get up to besides just working. <laughs> Hopefully a little bit more exciting. We have been sitting down for the last three hours just working on the blog. Today we took it as a blog day. So now it's 12.20 and it's time for lunch. For lunch we have a sushi bowl that we saw on TikTok that the lady actually called the Lazy Beach Sushi Bowl. So <laughs> I'll show you what it is. Okay, talk us through it. So this is all we need. Rice, tuna, avocado, mayonnaise. We use the, how do you call it? The wasabi. wasabi. Soy sauce, some crunchy stuff for the top. And when I cook, I don't wash. Even though that doesn't count as cooking, I still prepared lunch. <laughs> We're done here at the camp. Now we're going to make our way to Geraldton. We still have, what was it? An hour and 10 to get to there. There were two 24 hour free camps in the area. See what the free camps are like. Make sure that they're not like some dodgy looking place. We do need to go to the post office, probably hit the gym so we can get a shower in and a workout as well. Geraldton, here we go. Hi. <laughs> bees? I imagine on the way out we you get, get stung. <laughs> We have just arrived at the free camp. We tried to go to the gym earlier. Turned out that they're completely ready to open, but the council hasn't allowed people into there yet. So we couldn't work out. We couldn't get a shower in. Then we decided to go to Pet Barn, which was next door. We needed to get some kitty litter. We also grabbed some cat food and there was the cutest little cat there. He looked identical to Jon Snow. A little bit skinnier. He was just looking for a home. Super affectionate. Hey, buddy. He wants to, you want to take him? Yeah. yeah? He's so affectionate. I think the plan now is just to hang out in this free camp for a little bit. It's really nice here in Geraldton. Relax, have some dinner, and probably just catch an early night. 